Good things happen to those who hustle. Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. The obstacle became his alibi for weakness. Throw your dreams into space like a kite, and you do not know what it will bring back. A new life, a new friend, a new love, a new country. We don't see people as they are. We see people as we are. Each friend represents a world in us, a world not born until they arrive, and it is only by this meeting that a new world is born. The personal life deeply lived always expands into truths beyond itself. We are going to the moon that is not very far. Man has so much farther to go within himself. I hate rarely, though when I hate, I hate murderously. I don't really want to become normal, average, standard. I want merely to gain strength, and to live out my life more fully, enjoy more, experience more. I want to develop even more original and more unconventional traits. It is a sign of great inner insecurity, to be hostile to the unfamiliar. I have no brakes on, analysis is for those who are paralyzed by life. When one is pretending, the entire body revolts. I want to love you wildly. I don't want words, but inarticulate cries, meaningless, from the bottom of my most primitive being, that flow from my belly like honey. A piercing joy, that leaves me empty, conquered, silenced. The secret of joy is the mastery of pain. Do not seek the because, in love, there is no because, no reason, no explanation, no solutions. Life is a full circle, widening until it joins the circle motions of the infinite. Dreams are necessary to live. I am lonely, yet not everybody will do. I don't know why, some people fill the gaps and others emphasize my loneliness. There are two ways to reach me, by way of kisses, or by way of the imagination. But there is a hierarchy, the kisses alone don't work. In the chaos, there is fertility. To commit suicide is easy. To live without a god is more difficult. The drunkenness of triumph is greater than the drunkenness of sacrifice. I can elect something I love and absorb myself in it. When others asked the truth of me, I was convinced it was not the truth they wanted, but an illusion they could bear to live with. I'm restless. Things are calling me away. My hair is being pulled by the stars again. Nature forms us for ourselves, not for others. To be, not to seem. If a person continues to see giants, it means he is still looking at the world through the eyes of a child. There are only two kinds of freedom in the world, the freedom of the rich and powerful, and the freedom of the artist, and the monk who renounces possessions.
Since desire always goes towards that which is our direct opposite, it forces us to love that which will make us suffer. There is a perfection in everything that cannot be owned. For you and for me, the highest moment, the keenest joy, is not when our minds dominate, but when we lose our minds, and you and I both lose it in the same way, through love. Idealism is the death of the body and the imagination. All but freedom, utter freedom, is death. We did not touch each other. We were both leaning over the abyss. What can I do with my happiness? How can I keep it, conceal it, bury it where I may never lose it? I want to kneel as it falls over me like rain, gather it up with lace and silk, and press it over myself again. I see enormous loves growing immense and finally crushing me. The only abnormality is the incapacity to love. I made no resolutions for the new year. The habit of making plans, of criticizing, sanctioning, and molding my life, is too much of a daily event for me. The source of sexual power is curiosity, passion. You are watching its little flame die of asphyxiation. To think of him in the middle of the day lifts me out of ordinary living. I want to fall in love in such a way that the mere sight of a man, even a block away from me, will shake and pierce me, will weaken me, and make me tremble and soften and melt. Some people read to confirm their own hopelessness. Others read to be rescued from it. You are the only woman who ever answered the demands of my imagination. A leaf fluttered in through the window this morning, as if supported by the rays of the sun, a bird settled on the fire escape, joy in the task of coffee, joy accompanied me as I walked. Sometimes we reveal ourselves when we are least like ourselves. There are many ways to be free. One of them is to transcend reality by imagination, as I try to do.